use intimidation as a tactic are bullies. That's right. And you'll find them everywhere. They're in the schoolyard, they're at the workplace, they're everywhere people are gathered. Someone is a bully. But the biggest bully in any society is always the government. Why? Because the government has real power. Consider this. The government can tax you. <laughs> you can't list all the taxes you now pay. The government can investigate you. Almost any regulatory or law enforcement agency of the local, state, or federal government has the right to investigate you or your business without even advising you. And the government can regulate you. Nearly everything is regulated, from the amount of water in your toilet to the kind of insulation that you have in your ceiling. Including, by the way, the kind and number of firearms and the amount of ammunition that you own. And that's not all. And they can indict you. If they can indict a ham sandwich, they sure as heck can indict you. They can incarcerate you, even without a conviction in some cases. They can kill you. A few states still have capital punishment, and all of them have law enforcement officers armed to the teeth. And if you haven't heard, coming soon, death panels. They can wiretap you though I think they still need a court order. But they can steal from you. The recent takeover of the automobile industry robbed hundreds of dealers of their businesses and their life's savings. They can silence you. Did you know that the government placed gag orders on the auto dealers that they had bullied into closing? And they can scrutinize you. Look what happened to uh, Joe the plumber. And they can draft you. I know there hasn't been a military draft in decades. However, the government can still conscript you and send you off to war. And the government can indoctrinate you, especially the kids in government schools and universities. Remember, mm, 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 Barack Hussein Obama? <laughs> and, and they can unionize you. Right-to-work laws are under attack, especially with this union-friendly government, and they can license you. In Concord, New Hampshire, a manicurist was given a 30-day suspended sentence for not having a license to give a manicure. And then they can suspend your license. Broadcasters' licenses are constantly under threat by the government. And by the way, the Fairness Doctrine is once again being discussed by Obama's new communications czar. And they can warn you. Surgeon General's warning, fried foods kill. <laughs> but worst of all, a bully government can lie to you. Bill Clinton, I did not have sex with that woman. George Bush, our borders are secure. The Congress, we will build a fence on the border with Mexico. <laughs> Barney Frank, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are solvent. Nancy Pelosi, this health care bill will not add one dime to the deficit. Barack Obama, when there is a bill that ends up on my desk as the president, you the public will have five days to look online and find out what's in it before I sign it. And nearly every politician has at one time or another promised us that. The increase in services will be paid for by routing out abuse, fraud, and waste. It hasn't happened yet, but we can hope for change. Now, our founding fathers set up a limited government so you and I could live free from bullying and intimidation by our own government. I believe it's a right we should have. We should not have to fear our government, our courts, or our law enforcement officers. We should be proud of them. We should be able to brag about them and tell people how wonderful they are and how good they are in their ability to protect and defend the Constitution and to keep us free in our pursuit of happiness. 
Thanks for listening. I'm Ron Ross. Together, let's let freedom reign.